People around the country and the world continue to process the deaths of Anthony Bourdain and Kate Spade, both who died from suicide this week, both who leave behind teenage children. Their celebrity deaths shining a light on talking about mental health awareness. News 8's Eric Feldman found out from experts in Indiana where the dialogue needs to go. And Eric, sometimes this is a very uncomfortable topic for us to talk about and viewers as well. Yeah, Julian, there's no way around it. It is an uncomfortable thing to talk about. And experts we talk to, they acknowledge just that, but mm -hmm. they say, look, it's important. We need to have these conversations. The head of the Behavioral Health Program at Community Health Network talked about this. She says it's actually common for people to be afraid to talk about the topic of suicide, fear that you can put the idea in your loved one's head if you talk about it. But she says it's quite the opposite. The thought could already be brewing for some time and asking these important questions could actually save a life. This I've met so many families who have um, been the survivors of, of loss um, and a death by suicide that say, I just didn't feel quite right about the answer that I was given. I wish I would have asked one more question. Ask that one more question. You're never going to regret, regret asking one more question. That was Vanessa Enos talking about the importance of having that dialogue. She had a lot of interesting things to say and advice on how you can broach this topic that many just feel is uncomfortable to talk about. Some of those questions she says you should be asking, and look, it sounds blunt, but do you think about killing yourself? Do you have a plan to die? These are extremely hard questions to ask. And coming up at 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, we're going to look at some of those subtle signs for you to watch out for. In the studio, Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8.